Greetings from the Jazz Cloud. I'm Richie Zellen, and I want to welcome you to the Jazz Guitar Channel. Back in the early days of jazz improvisation, when it came time to solo, players relied primarily on just embellishing the main melody. They rarely departed very far from it. For the most part, they kind of just paraphrased it by varying the rhythm and adding other notes to it. By the time the bebop era developed in the mid-1940s, musicians had a more sophisticated understanding of harmony and composition. As a result, they no longer improvised based on the melody, but instead on the tune's chord progression. As a matter of fact, from that point on in time, it is rare during a jazz solo to hear any trace of the tune's main melody. Well, if you are fairly new at jazz improvisation and you gradually want to get your feet wet before getting into bebop, in this lesson I am going to share with you two valuable steps that will enable you to improvise a simple yet nice solo using a standard's main melody as a starting point. Now, full disclosure, you do have to have an understanding of basic theory and scales for this to be useful as well as be able to play the melody to the standard you want to improvise over. And those of you who are a little more advanced, please stick with me also because I will be showing how to apply these concepts both at a beginning and more advanced level. So with that said, let's begin with the first step. If you're not familiar with the term guide tone, it is conventionally used to refer to the third and seventh of a chord. These are the two tones that best imply the sound and character of any given chord. However, guide tone lines will also include other tones such as fifths and upper extensions. And you can extract a guide tone line from almost any standard. It just so happens that guide tone lines are the backbone of many well-known melodies. Of course, some are more obvious and simpler than others, and for this lesson, we are going to briefly look at the guide tone lines that serve as a melodic foundation of three popular standards. So stick with me because after I show you this, in step two, I will demonstrate how to improvise using these guide tone lines. For these three tunes that we're going to look at, I'm only going to work with the A section in order to teach you the concept. If you want to work further with them, you can apply the concept I'm going to show you to the rest of the tune. So the first tune I want to extract a guide tone line from is Misty. It's a beautiful ballad. I'm playing it in E flat. And I want to recommend that you watch the uh, lesson I recently posted showing three chord melody versions of Misty. I'm putting a link right below. So let me play the uh, A section. One, two, three. the guide tone line. One, two, three, four.
So there you hear the backbone of the uh, melody, mainly thirds and sevenths, a few other tones, uh, but these are the target tones. All the other notes in the melody are aiming towards the notes we just heard. They kind of outline the harmony, okay? Let's do the same now for autumn leaves. And let me just play the A section. One, two, three. So the guide tone line here is very obvious. And it goes like this. I'm just going to play it once through. One, two, three, four. And for our third tune, Let's extract a guide tone line from take the A train. One, two, a oh, one, two, three, four. And here's the uh, guide tone line. It's also very obvious. One, two, a one, two, three, four. So now that you have an idea of how to extract a guide tone from a melody line, let me show you how you can use it to craft your solo. And I'm going to use Misty to do so. The first step is to embellish the guide tone line rhythmically. So, Let's look at the uh, first measure here. The very first uh, guide tone is the seventh. For example, one, two, three, four. Or you can go one, two, three, four. You get the idea? Well, we want to do that with the whole line. So let's go over this A section and I'm just going to spontaneously play around rhythmically with all the notes. One, two, three, four. Once we feel comfortable with the rhythms, let's embellish the guide tone line utilizing neighboring tones and fragments of the scale. Now we want to experiment ascending and descending, but we always want to return to the same guide tone before moving on to the next one to conserve the line. One two, three, four.
the next idea is to start adding some of the arpeggio tones, but always return to the initial guide tone before moving to the next one. So I'd probably want to go something like this from the uh, first guide tone to the second. Notice how I went seven, five, three, but I returned to that initial seven to make the uh, smooth transition to the next guide tone, which is the flat three over the B flat minor seven. So let me just play over the whole thing to give you an idea. And this may be a little bit more advanced, so I said that I'd teach for those who are at a higher level and want to play around with this concept. And what I'm going to do next is I'll, I'll kind of combine neighboring tones with the arpeggio notes, both ascending and descending. One, two, three, four. <laughs> What I've shown you here is one of many paths you can take to jumpstart an improvised solo. However, relying solely on the notes of the given tune's guide tone line can be limited. Every player should ultimately strive to understand how to improvise a new melody by learning and mastering the rudiments of bebop. And that's why I want to take this opportunity to recommend that you check out my Bebop Guitar Improv Series course online. It is comprised of two volumes and six books, and it will guide you in detailed order through every step needed to become a proficient jazz improviser. And you will find a direct link in the info section down below. And on that note, we conclude this lesson. As usual, I welcome your likes, comments, and questions. And if this is your first time on the Jazz Guitar Channel and you enjoyed this lesson, please be sure to subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell icon so you will be notified of my upcoming lessons. Please join me on the next one. And until then, stay safe and may peace be with you. Nos vemos.